there have been three periods in modern Russian history when there's been total disorder. Once 1610 to 1613, ending with the election of Michael Romanov as Tsar and the beginning of the Romanov dynasty. Then second, the Russian Revolution, 1917 to 1920, ending with Stalin. And then the 1990s, the disorders of the 1990s, which ended with Putin. So in each of these cases, great hopes, chaos, and then the return of this of very similar autocratic regimes. I think it's a return to old habits of behavior that are just unstoppable, no matter what the system, whether it's communism or czarism, or now a sort of hybrid democracy. And it's interesting that one of the things that Gorbachev did was invite the young Ralph Nader to go to Moscow to teach people how to grizzle, how to complain about their consumer goods. So there's a passivity often in the Russian psyche. You know, representative institutions have never developed there really properly. And what really everything depends on is personal contacts. And of course, that's how the Romanov court was, was run. You had to know someone who knew someone who had power at court. Anyone the emperor touched had that power and they could pass it on. That was true for a while for some followers of Stalin, wasn't it? Well, it was very true under Stalin. It was very true throughout the Soviet Union. And by the end, that was all they had was, was connections. <laughs> 